supposed to be freedom. Our flag, red, white, and blue. But it doesn't always seem like that's the case, and because of my race, rather races, I am no longer a person. No, they do not see me as human. I am now target, I am threat, I am the monster that even Frankenstein wouldn't dare create. When you are half Arabic and half black, you are go back to where you came from, and we shouldn't have brought your kind here in the first place tied together as one. You are monitored closely in convenience stores as well as airports. Any routine traffic stop could very well be your last, and somehow whenever you travel with your cousins, hijab equipped, Congratulations, you've been randomly selected! Your family on both sides will always ridicule the other and only stick together when they realize that they are both on the short end of this stick we call the land of the free and home of the brave. They say this is supposed to be freedom. Like how we bleed red and white cops wear blue. Like how we need to be a hashtag in order to matter. Like how they don't even have to destroy us anymore because we've been brainwashed to destroy ourselves. Freedom in this country is conditional. All you have to do is be American. Which is to say, all you have to do is claim something that isn't yours, like you birthed it, raise it to hate everything that is different or darker, and teach it to destroy everything it touches. My mother, after hearing this poem, asked me, Nahamun Kasuma, which is to say, uh, we are divided, but her Arabic isn't good, so she asked it like, like it's a question. She does not know it comes out as a blatant statement, which is to reply, yes, which I reply to. Yes, mother, or Iimah, not knowing which part of me to answer her with. I decide to say the rest in English so it does not get lost in translation. We have always been two divided halves fighting for a chance to be equal in what they call this, to be free. <coughs> Sorry. We have always been two divided halves fighting for a chance to be free in this place we have in what we call freedom.